love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you're giving yourselves um, going through these crazy times and these crazy changes. Hopefully they will be soon over. Because I know we've been going through a lot. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell when you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up to tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the video has been giving you a good information or just good vibes that you know that a loved one or a friend needs to hear it at this point in time, go ahead and share it with them. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing love and support. I hope you're able to, you know, uh, resonate with the content of my video. Oh, my cat, I want you want to stop by in the video. She just want to get her little attention in. Um, today, I'm listening to another beautiful Twin Flame uh, meditation. It's called Twin Flame, uh, Twin, Twin Flame Miracle Manifestation Music Love of Attraction Quantum Energy Healing Sound Therapy. And I will post it link in the description box below. And today, my video is about three main people that come into our lives for a special reason you know it's like a lot of us have been going through it when it's like um we can go through things and there's three type of people that come into our lives one is supposed to love leave and growth you know we all have to deal with those type of people in our lives and i know sometimes we can meet the most beautiful people and we're all beautiful it's just that we, they all got their different stages and i was watching a video and i said to a really good dear friend of mine you know i went through the same thing they were going through as you know why certain people come into our lives and it could be something very negative or something very positive or whatever and i try to tell people a lot of times and i've said this in a lot of videos and you probably hear it within yourselves as well is that sometimes um especially if it's a bad experience we put people in a box for a lifetime expectation when they're only supposed to be seasonal you know and that that's a that is the straight truth and there was a lot of times that uh i don't even have my own experiences i haven't told y'all about it where i've had people that didn't even know who they were and um didn't even know there were like witch white witches or empaths or you know a twin flame or anything like that until i was able to tell them these things because you know universe has gravitated these people towards my direction for me to learn off of them and them learn off of me and you know and sometimes it can be really hard you know especially if it's something negative that impacted your life in a really bad way and you're like i don't know why these people came into my life i wish that these people didn't come in my life but you should never say that you really shouldn't because there's the people that um come into our lives they're here to always teach us whether it's a good experience or a bad you know the people that we learn from you, you know they can learn to help us you know see the things they weren't able to see about themselves or you know there was things that was going on they really just couldn't understand why it was going on so um then we have to know that you know they came into your life for a specific reason and um there's what is it you learn from them you learn how to get your growth um you learn that when people hurt you when you deserve better you can walk away or these people have taught you so many different things about you know how to react to certain things how to respond um people that has come into our lives that hurt us to be able to still stand strong throughout that you know that dark time and you know you just like uh Oh, I wish I never met this person. But you have to understand, and I, just like my situation, I've been in situations to where I looked at, like, Dad, did I really deserve that? You know, I didn't deserve this to happen to me. God, universe, why did you allow these things to happen? And a lot of times, we have to go through this uh, situations, karmic situations, for us to get broken, for us to understand the full effect, 
of the things that are coming into our lives or the things we need to accept, things that we can grow from. No matter how bad it is, we should be able to heal, let go. Because if we never went through that, that traumatizing experience, you probably would have been doing the same thing you've been doing and wondering why, you know, why am I still going through these situations? Why do I keep going through the same rotating door with different people? But you have to be able to learn to use discernment when it comes to certain people in your life. Learn not to actually be so open with people and even if you be so open is is you know and then something messes up you have to learn that lesson so if somebody else comes into your life and tries to do the same thing you can already say oh no you know i'm not allowed this to happen to me and blah 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 and there's some people that are in your life like i try to be there in people's lives especially the ones that i'm in on a personal level with and i talk to almost every other day or every day i give them words of encouragement especially if there are certain things that they're going through that i just so happen to be blessed to have gone through i always send them like links um videos uh especially if it's motivational videos if you already listen to mine i send other people that have influenced my life trent shelton uh infinite waters uh J uh Shiti, I think it was that yeah, Shiti, Shiti. Um, he was a monk, an Indian monk. And he, I mean, he's you can tell he's like an indigo empath because he has those piercing eyes that you know you can't get off of his eyes. He has these re- very beautiful green eyes, and he has put out a lot of uh motivational videos out that you know has really helped me. And I always send it to other people that are going through the same situation. And he was talking about that as well. You know, are you the branch? Are you the tree? Or are you the root? You know, you have to decide what these people are in your life and what are you in return. Because there's a lot of times we have made promises we we can't hold up to. And it's just like, I try to never make a promise I know I can't make. You know, if I tell, especially if I tell my kids, I, I hate it when I'm able to tell my kids something. And I have to go back and say, Dad, you know, I can't do that. So I try not to make any promises I know I can't keep. Or we have people there in our lives that are still there that you know we might not talk to them every day but they're always sending us uplifting vibes to know hey you know you're gonna make it and i always try to tell people especially you know they're going through things especially my empaths especially the ones i talk to on a one-on-one basis even if i'm going through hard times i want you to have a good blessing because you know a lot of times people go through something and they hate to see you shine and they will do anything and everything to throw some stuff in your life to make sure you stay in that level with them and that's when you have to know to break free from people like that just pray for them and keep going you know let nature take its course with that karma with them but you know we have to go through that you know that those three three certain people this in your life you know you love you learn you grow and you know delete them and it's just a lot of times you know you try to understand why these people came to your life oh, I was really I was really nice to them and you know I went out my way to do these things and they just came out and they hurt me a lot of hurt people are hurt people and we I always tell people not you know what us being humans is an automatic you know reaction for us take things personal we should never think take those things personal because this is something they fall short on for themselves so of course when they're when they're malefic they're being malefic towards themselves and being malefic towards other people so we have to understand these things are all the stages we have to go through in life to be able to better ourselves be able to get that strength be able to get those knowledge there has been people you know i was blessed for the fact you know, I had certain videos that pulled me towards the things that I started doing my videos for. Or I've had Universe that had to send me. I didn't really have a one-on-one with somebody that was able to help me. I, you know, I learned the one-on-ones when I met, introduced people toward, you know, that was gravitated towards me. And there were certain things that I didn't know they were teaching me and vice versa. And we may not even talk anymore. But it's just like I never have regret towards those people. I'm, you know, even I used to have this bad thing when they come in my life and I know the hell they ain't supposed to be there. I go off. Now it's just like when I see somebody, I know definitely they're not supposed to be in my life, but they're heading back just to get that closure. I just block them half of the time. I don't say nothing. Or if I did, I don't really say something, especially if they really got up under my skin and I had to say something. There's times I have to even say, God, please forgive me for acting ugly with these folks. But they really put me in a bind. Because like I told y'all before, I've had people that came into my life and even though I helped them and they found out towards things that, you know, I was growing towards or things that they knew about my dad that made them feel, you know, intimidated by that. So they would try to block me on purpose. Even though they had good things coming on in their life, they wanted to block me from mine because they felt like what I got was a lot better than what they were getting. 
And I said, you know, God blesses everybody. But the one thing you should never do is wish bad on somebody or try to block their blessings because you never know. When you do stuff like that, you might not have got your blessings blocked at that time, but you know when it actually, when it comes down to you for you doing that and something falls short on you because you did that, you're going to know the reason why. So it's just like when you have those people in your lives, you know, there's lifetime people that's supposed to be there for you through thick and thin. And there's people that you're supposed to learn and grow from and keep on going. So when they leave your life, don't get upset. There was a reason for them leaving. They were supposed to only be there for that season, be able to teach you what you needed to be taught in that time. Either heal, grow, get your strength see the things were unseen seeing that there's things about you that you needed to change or you're, you're teaching them things at, at the same time too but be grateful for all those experiences and never know that those were never accidents or coincidence there was a reason behind every person that you meet so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video i'm giving a special proud to my friend uh stacy and brad please keep them in their prayers their twin flame and plus their extended family they're going through a really hard time right now and if i if you can just say a good prayer for them you know they're going through a lot i'm not putting nobody's business out there but you know they're going through some things and i appreciate it because i've been keeping them in my prayers but you know I, it would be good for other people to pray for others too especially if they're going through a try, trying time right now so like and subscribe even hit this notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video drop me a line give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well stay blessed stay humble and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I will see you in the next video. Peace and be wild.